Hi, this is Piotr Garley. Today I would like to show you a really cool presentation tool. A tool for creating slides. And the important notice beforehand. It's not a sponsored video. I don't earn any money on reviewing it. And I have nothing in common with creators of this tool. So why this review? Well, recently I've been reviewing many different presentation tools. And among these tools, I found this one. It's called Beautiful AI. And I find it as one of the best tools I ever worked with. Of course, it's not perfect. It has some shortcomings. But this tool deserves an independent and honest review. So here it is. Its name is Beautiful AI. And let's create the first slide deck in it. So let's click on the blue button here. And now we can start creating it just by clicking here, Create Presentation. But before we choose a new theme for this presentation, we can choose some colors. We can add some colors that we want to use. For example, a red or green, we can add some more. So actually we are creating a new color palette for this presentation. We can also create some colors based on the hex code or RGB code that we have in our brand guidelines. So we can type in the proper numbers and the proper color will appear. And of course we can also change the font. If it's not available in this app, we can upload the file of this font just by clicking here. What I want to show you right now is an incredible feature that allows us to import all the colors and fonts from our PowerPoint file. So let's select a file. We want to take some items, like colors and fonts, and then we can use them. So all these colors are taken from my presentation. The Georama font that I had in my PowerPoint is actually not available in this tool. So we either have to upload this font or change this font to another. So I will change this font to Poppins Regular and Body Font to Poppins Light. And this is my template. OK, it's done and we can create a presentation. So that's the one case. Let's go back to our library and let's create a new presentation once again. And this time I want to show you another way of creating a presentation. We can use it as a tool for creating our own content, but we can also use designer.ai. It looks like a Tome app that I recently introduced to you on my YouTube channel. If you haven't seen my previous video on Tome app, please go ahead to one of my recent videos. So what we can do here is actually we can make a prompt for the AI tool and this way we will introduce the topic of the presentation. So I will type in make a presentation on how to create best pitch deck. And let's generate a presentation. Now we can choose the theme. I will use the slide formations theme and now I can click create a presentation button. Then we have to wait a few minutes to have all these slides generated. Comparing this process to the process inside the Tome app that I recently reviewed here in the beautiful AI, it takes a bit longer. But I think that the effect is a bit better and the slides are not only the text and photo, long text, long paragraphs, but the text is presented in more visual and diverse way. So it's much, much more visually appealing here in Beautiful AI. OK, we already see some slides that are generated and we see that they are diverse. It's not only one layout for all of them. This is good, very good. Of course, we can select a text box and put a new title, so it's all editable. If you want to change the icon, we can replace it with some other, for example, this one, and we can also add a new item with a new icon, with a new text, etc., etc. So let's go through all these slides. The best thing about this app is that it helps you align all these elements. So, for example, let's delete this item and all the rest is distributed automatically and it's all aligned. 
so there is no fuss about aligning all these elements. It's very convenient. Okay, so let's change the text here. We can of course put some other text, right? It's all editable. We can change some formatting options. We can also ask the bot to rewrite the text and it will give us some other options. So let's ask to change the text to make it simpler. Okay, so it's rewriting it and it's very cool. Good, all these slides are okay. But I'm not very happy with that. So I will create some new slides. I just click the plus button and I can add one more slide so I can choose one of available categories. I choose this one. Uh, I click on it and I have four elements here. I change the text. And I also add item. And once I added an item, it's all distributed perfectly. I can delete one of them or I can change the order. So it looks really good. Okay, so let's create another slide. Maybe this one with arrows. We have three options here. We can make it five options, for example. We can change, of course, the text. And the best thing here is that if we change the position of this item, all of these numbers adjust. So if I place number four on the number one, digits change. We can change the length of the arrow. We can change the image. We have lots of pictures here to choose from. For example, I can select this one. Okay, but it's not the best thing actually about this app. Something that is really powerful here and makes this app incredible comparing to popular apps like PowerPoint or Keynote is interactive visuals. So let's choose thermometer slide taken from here. Okay, so we have such a visual. And the best thing about it is that if we change the number from 78 to 12, for example, and click enter, the visualization changes as well and adjusts to the proper digits. We can change the value here using this line. We can change the format from person to numbers or to currency. We can also change the settings indicating what the maximum value is and so on and so on. We have many different options. So it's really beautiful. Let's create another slide, another interactive slide. Let's go to icons and visualization and choose this one. So we have 10 icons for one category. So 10 icons for, for women, 10 icons of men. I change the number for this one and have a look what happens with the icons. Now only one and a half of these icons are white and all the rest is shaded. But if I change to 97%, it all changes within the visualization. That's the magic. So let's change once again 12. It changes here and if we change 75, it shows seven icons and a half on white and the rest is shaded. And that's amazing. There's also a target option here. We can change numbers here, but unfortunately, it doesn't adjust automatically. So we have to move it around manually. We can also insert charts and tables, of course. The tool is equipped with all these necessary things that we need in our presentations. So let's choose one of these slides and let's edit this chart so we can change these numbers. We can add some more columns, we can add some more rows, but we can also import data. Yes, we can import data and paste our spreadsheet data here using just Ctrl C, Ctrl V sequence. So I will go to my Excel file and I will do it. So this is my Excel file. I select the data and I will paste it just here, just here, just, just by clicking Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Okay, so these are my data from Excel file. Import. 
and now it's all presented as a chart. That's how it looks. We can, of course, change it. And it's so super easy to change these values. I'm not sure if it's good or bad because one may manipulate with this data too easily. But it's incredible how easy creating a slide can be. We can choose from many different layouts option and all the data inside is editable. So we can change these numbers, we can add more cells, we can change the positions here. So it's all customizable and editable. Let's choose another slide. For example, we can use this word cloud. We can type in some words and click save. Then we can randomize it so the colors will be different. The order of these words can also be changed. But unfortunately, there's a quite a limited way of editing selected items. For example, if we wanted to select a word here, for example, lying storm, and change this one particular item, change its color or change its font, change its size, actually, I am not able to do it. So it's all fine when the app is creating all these things really well, but if we want to highlight some sp something very specific, well, that's the problem. I've been working with this tool for quite a while and I'm really impressed. The only two disadvantages I see in it is that there is a lack of more advanced editing options. They would be helpful when we want to create something more specific, something more detailed. And the second thing is that the library with all these slides, although they are really beautiful, while well, the library is quite limited. It would be much, much more convenient if this library would be broader and more extensive. That's a minor point. All these slides that are available here are just beautiful. And it's so super easy to create really beautiful slides. So have a look at it. Unfortunately, it's not for free and the pricing starts from $12 per month if you want to choose the build annually option. I use the team option and here there's a bit broader scope of features. Anyway, you can always try it for free for 14 days. And if you like it, just go ahead. As I said, it's not a sponsored video. I don't have anything to do with the company which released this tool, but I'm really impressed and I just wanted to share it with you. So thank you for this and see you soon.